Hey, so I'm pretty sure you could tell just by like looking at me that I'm currently not at my peak and I look like an actual mess. I don't even know why I'm sitting here like embarrassing myself. Like I have no makeup. I haven't done my hair today and I've literally just been chilling in like this hoodie, sweatpants and literally fuzzy socks. Like oh my god. Like it's been weeks since I've actually had like a oh, I look good moment. I'm getting to like that level of insecurity where like I need to do something about this. I haven't like made like an actual effort to like you know feel better about myself. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Pretty much, I'm going to be taking all the proper steps that are necessary to reaching the level of confidence that I need. So that pretty much is like doing my makeup. I'm going to do like my hair. Ooh, I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to pick out a couple of cute outfits because I plan on like doing like an actual like photo shoot thing. I don't know if it's going to be in my room yet, but I really doubt it because I'm tired of being in here. So you can wait till the end of the video for that. But yeah, I'm pretty much tired of myself and, and pretty much this video is like taking a journey to no longer be tired of myself so yeah okay i think that's it so let's get started all right so the first thing i'm gonna be doing is my makeup and before i start i'm also gonna change it to something a little bit more comfortable and i also haven't thought about like what actual makeup look i want to do so, so that's gonna be something i have to think about Okay, so yes, I did end up needing to go onto Pinterest for some inspiration because I am not a talented makeup artist, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I didn't know if I actually wanted to go for a more natural look or something a little bit more dramatic. And as I was going through some pictures, I found this one and I was like, whoa, this is so cute. But then I came across this other one, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go with this one. And for the next five minutes, you can watch me attempt to try and recreate this look, which I, I don't even know how I did, so let's get into it. Okay, this is probably one of the worst angles ever. I have this huge wall behind me. <coughs> I really want to decorate it, like, really bad. I mean, it's, like, plain. There's nothing on it. But I'm just so indecisive, and, like, I really don't know what I want to do with it. If you guys have, like, any ideas with what I can do with this stupid wall, please let me know. Like, I really don't know what to put up there. All right, so for the first part of this video, we're going to be doing makeup. This literally, like, helps so much. Okay. Okay, so this is pretty much me before any damage was caused and I pretty much tried to go based off that eyeshadow look as much as possible. Here I'm just doing my eyeshadow, putting on like primer and concealer before I start and I decided to like use mostly purple shades because it's pretty much what's in the picture and no, I still do not know what I'm doing. I had to actually watch like multiple James Charles videos to get to this like level of like makeup artistness. Okay, so yeah, anyway, I then proceeded to do my eyeliner, which I also suck at, so I had to do it off camera, and this is like the results, which, yeah, not my best work. So I also put on eyelashes over that, and it just made it look better, so now I'm just gonna do like the rest of my makeup, which is like my foundation, and I use the Fenty Beauty foundation if anyone is like curious. But yeah, I didn't like go full out or like try to recreate the picture like entirely. I literally just wanted like the eyeshadow look, so that's pretty much what I did. So yeah, lastly, I just pounded my face with some highlighter, which, you know, it had nothing in it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for like this look. And these are the results. Alright, so now that I have my makeup done, I'm gonna pick out my outfit. And I probably will pick out more than one just because I want to have like different options or just in case I like get bored of just one. And honestly, picking out my outfit is probably gonna be like the hardest part of this video just because like I said, I'm so indecisive. And let's just hope this goes well. So let's get started. Okay, so here is my messy drawer yeah so now for the next hour or so i pretty much spent it looking through the massive amounts of clothes that i have as well as the accessories and really just trying to put like a cute outfit together and kind of like seeing what goes well together so that was fun as i'm filming this video i'm like realizing that i'm like not organized at all or at least i haven't been like i could be an organized person but just like not today and Sorry for like the mess that is like occurring in this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see an extreme organization video for me because that would be interesting. 
And finally, after spending way too much time on this outfit, I finally came out with this super cute mom look where I paired this super basic dress shirt that I actually thrifted and just found super cute for this outfit. And the shirt actually fit me pretty big, so I ended up kind of like restyling it to make it fit me and I just kind of made it go with the look and it looked super cute. And since I was already getting like extreme mom vibes from this video, I decided to also pair this outfit with mom jeans just because I felt like that just went perfect with it. And it did. They look really cute. And yes, this is one of the rare occasions where I don't choose to wear Air Forces with my outfit. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this outfit. The only other thing I chose to accessorize this with was just that purse I mentioned earlier. And now after like five hours, my outfit is now done okay so i decided to just go for like a simple mom look because i already put on like super dramatic eyeshadow at least it feels like and i didn't want it to like like too much so if i do choose like a second outfit or something i'll just put that at the end of the video so stick around for that but as of now this is gonna be the move so let's get into the photo shoot So before starting our little adventure, we decided to stop for some boba because apparently we can't function without it. And eventually we arrived to our little location, which I was super happy with because there's actually so many cute spots here that I got a little bit too excited with and I ended up not exploring the place as much as I wanted to. But I did try to make the most out of these super cute spots that I found because they were giving me such mom vibes, which honestly is pretty much the whole theme of this video. Anyways, you can now enjoy me try and attempt to take good pictures for like the next hour. I look ugly okay so I am currently editing the video and I realized that I had not only did I not film an outro but I also cut this video super short like I literally only filmed with one outfit at one location so yeah this video um didn't turn out as long as I wanted it to be but it's okay the effort is what matters whatever that means anyways if you stuck around for the end of the video this is pretty much the end and I also like I said I forgot to film an outro so that is end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it at the end I did end up like pretty much accomplishing my goal which was to stop being insecure and if you guys want to follow my Instagram, I posted some of the pictures that I took on there so you could go support my um, modeling career. So, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Depending on how this video does, I can also do a part two because I go on a lot of, like, photo shoot thingies because that's, like, become, like, my new hobby. Like I said, I might do a part two later and, like, actually make it longer. Who knows? But yeah, that's pretty much it. And bye. Bye.